Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we have a request, and it's to put the Cardassian Bacchus against the USS Kyoto. Now, in terms of predictions, this is quite tricky. The Kyoto can fire a large amount of weaponry, being a Starfleet Klingon hybrid ship. But the Bacchus has a very powerful phaser array and it can fire a large amount of torpedoes. Now this battle is going to take place over Cardassia. Where else? So we can fire a large amount of torpedoes, it's eight. And our phasers are very powerful. But see the Kyoto has that ridiculous weapon. And when I say ridiculous, I mean ridiculously powerful. Well, that's what happens when you get the greatest Klingon and Starfleet minds together. Can you imagine being one of those Starfleet engineers, having to hang out with the Klingons? Singing Tales of Kalos. Yay. So they can fire quantums and photons. And their disruptors are a combination of Starfleet and Klingon at the same time. Pretty clever. Ooh, cloaking may be your undoing. Wow. This, this feels quite even at the moment. I wish we had torpedoes from the aft. There's that weapon which sounds like hell. Ooh. Oh gosh. Right, I want to try that again. I wasn't happy with that performance, of course, because we didn't win. Kyoto is so maneuverable. It can evade our torpedoes. Ah! Ooh. Just keep hitting it. I'm thinking mid-range. I don't want to go up close and personal with this ship, because that's how we lost, I reckon. Ooh. The noise of that weapon sounds exactly like Worf's stomach after drinking Romulan ale. Oh, that beam! Ooh, they want some rammers. Aha! Haha, <laughs> you should not have cloaked then! We've caused some damage there, which is very good. Ooh, do not rammers, please. Ooh, they've lost half their ship. Look at that, they've only got one impulse engine left. I can take the other one out, but I think that was just a flute, to be honest. Ooh. Aha! They've lost their impulse engines. They're still firing. Where are they going? Oh, they're flying towards the sun! <laughs> The stars got them <laughs> gravitational pull. Oh, that's so funny. Can we track to them? I want to help. Oh, they're speeding up. Look at that. 
This problem might take care of itself now I think about it. Seriously, how hard is it to destroy this ship? Ah, finally. Oof. Right, let's try that the other way around. I did not anticipate that happening. That took me by surprise. Imagine if we'd waited long enough, they would have just flown into the star. We go. Changing I'm gonna switch the quantum torpedoes. We've definitely got more maneuverability. Straight through to their walk core. Oh, we're taking some damage though. Oh, not as much as them. The warp core is disabled. They have all reaches on multiple decks. And there we go. Well, there was absolutely no contest there. I have to give that to the USS Kyoto. It's secondary shielding, it's quantum torpedoes, and it's Klingon Starfleet hybrid weapons with a deciding factor. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.